Hi everyone, my name is Frederick Otieno Geda, the community coordinator for Kiswate Kenyan chapter. May I take this opportunity to read a report on language policy in Kiswate adapted schools. The report is based on a debate which was conducted in the Kiswate Digital Academy was up route between 29 September 2021 and 4th October 2021. The ineffective communication witnessed in Form 1 is inherited from primary schools. Low entry behavior, mother tongue influence, and use of sheng have worsened the situation. The problem extends in secondary schools because there are no proper measures put in place to arrest the situation such that many students graduate from high school with the same problem. It does not stop there, but extends to an extent that even those graduating from colleges cannot communicate effectively in the two major languages. It is not true that secondary schools can do nothing to correct the poor mastery of language. The sinking ship can be rescued rather than discarding the matter as misplaced. However, it is also not quite conclusive that the child is ineffective in the two languages by considering only the first video taken by another person and hence there is need to consider the affective filter. This can be confirmed by the fact that uh, some of the pupils interviewed showed adequate proficiency in the two languages. One step would be to instill a reading discipline in the students. This should entail reading for general comprehension, reading for content mastery, reading for pleasure, and reading for knowledge development. Reading for leisure would involve majorly storybooks, Every child can be asked to buy one storybook. The books will then uh, be shared among the learners until each of them reads all the books in turns. An award incentive can be created to motivate them to read and to tell the stories in English and Kiswahili for Kiswahili storybooks, that is. Uh, suggested books include books written by Major Mwangi, Gogi Wadiongo, James Hadley Chase, Henry Olikule, among others. Public speaking skills should be enhanced in pupils and students through rigorous training. Schools can organize public speaking competitions or debates on topical issues and pool resources for awards. A language policy should be clearly outlined in both primary and secondary schools. For example, in some schools, one or two days have been set aside for Kiswahili and the rest for English. A reward for excellence would also be put in place to motivate the learners to take the language policies more seriously. The culture should be such that it discourages the use of vernacular, vernacular languages by teachers and all workers. A book donation day should be organized so that well-wishers can support institutions by donating storybooks, class readers, course books, etc. Children should not be denied a chance to speak and master their mother tongue. This should be cultured in ECD and lower primary schools. Donation of ECD books by Keope to Luero Primary School was uh, one step in the right direction. However, use of mother tongue in secondary schools should be discouraged in order to, one, create an enabling environment for students to communicate effectively in English and Kiswahili. Two, create a comfortable work environment for non-local teachers and staff. Three, improve performance in national examination, which is set in English, except 
Kiswahili. And so prepare students for both regional and national leadership. Long-term solutions should be addressed in the primary schools, starting with a small group such as uh, Luero, Uyondo, and Ochiel, which have so far been adapted by Kiswati. It can then be extended, and the national government also roped in. There is need to create a task force for language improvement in Kiswati adapted schools. The task force should define the implementation path for the report. This report has been compiled by the community coordinator, Mr. Ogeda Febu. Thank you.